All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. In today's video, man, I'm talking about the top three builds at the point guard position in 2K18. Now, this is about maybe two months into the year uh, for 2K18. It's been a pretty dry year, I will admit, as you all know, really. Um, but hey, man, let's try to make the most of this, of this stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like, let's just. I feel like as a community, 2K could really like piece this stuff together. Because at the end of the day, I feel like this is still a very in entertaining, enjoyable game. I just feel like a lot of people are kind of losing the, their love for it. And I'm going to try to figure out good ways to bring everybody back into this stuff. Whether it's uh, the mixtapes I'm doing or just do some type of sub sessions and stuff. So anyway, with that said, I just wanted to kind of refresh everybody in the 2K community. Try to, try to get y'all to be on a positive note about the game. Enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, remember, it is a video game. Enjoy it as a video game, not uh, you know, not a not a stressful thing in life, basically. Anyway, here are the top three builds, in my opinion, at the point guard position. At number one, or I guess no, let's go let's go reverse. Uh, at number three, I have shot creating playmaker. So with this build, you still get Hall of Fame ankle breaker, Hall of Fame Tyler score, and Hall of Fame difficult shots. Now, however. You have zero gold badges aside what's on the screen. So just just remember, all you have is gold mid range that I and gold teardropper as your as your other badges. Mid range is OP on this build. You have you have probably like around 88, 89 mid range uh, off dribble or standing standing mid, along with Hall of Fame difficult shots, tireless score, mid range dead on gold. Uh, teardropper is still I would consider it in the mid range area, considering you know it's not like in the paint layups and stuff like that. Uh, speed is something you might lack a little bit as opposed to if you flip the build uh, to a playmaking shot creator but it's still it's still decent um, you can still run the point easily with this build and at the end of the day like I said man the shooting is much better than the other way around and the drive game is a little bit better as well only thing you lose out on is stuff like dimer and you know the passing badges and stuff like that and a little bit of a little bit of the ball handling and speed and especially the passing but at the end of the day this is more of like a Kyrie Irving build or an Allen Iverson build rather than you know like a Chris Paul uh, now don't be wrong Chris Paul has a godly mid-range all right he's probably the best mid-range shooter in the league ever maybe but um but I just feel like in terms of a distributing build this is not meant to be a distributing build it's more of an iso and then consider it as you know if you have to pass out you pass out but the passing and ball handling is really just here to gain more speed whereas if you were to do it with like a three-point shooting you, you have very little speed so anyway at number two we have the three-point shooting and playmaking as the secondary now like i said you're gonna lack some badges with this build as you did with the last one you have eight silvers uh, you don't have any Hall of Fames and the only five gold badges you have aside from the, you know, not useless, but like the ones that everybody has, like free throw ace, glue hands, and quick reflexes. Aside from those three, all you have for gold badges is what's on the screen on the right. So with that said, though, you still have three great gold badges. The shooting badges are always going to be OP in this game. Uh, it's just, that's just a fatter of, <laughs> a fatter of the max. <laughs> I just about said that. That's just a fact of the matter. All right. It's just how it goes. Um, however, you do only have three bars on dunking, which is terrible. Uh, can be five, but who knows when you get those. And then I think 10 bars on layups, 13 at the max. So uh, the drive game on this build is really bad. Uh, if you were to play, if you were to play with any other archetype, make sure you're playing with a center that plays as an inside player. So never play with stretch bigs, never do any of that. Because when you play with a stretch big, it's gonna force them to go to the paint. It's not gonna be a very good marriage. It's not gonna be something that works very well. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna click. So you definitely wanna play with dudes like athletic finishers or a glass cleaning athletic or a post score or something like that. Someone who sets screens and rolls and just tries to get you open from three. So anyway, it's a it's a decent it's a decent playmaking build. It's a decent point guard. It's not it's not great though. Um now we got over <laughs> we got that Drake, we made it instrumental over here talking over the talking over there anyway um it's not a great it's not a great point guard build it's not like a pure point guard you're more of like a scorer and you're not gonna you can still get people involved like i said it's just you're not gonna be able to drive and kick so the only players you're really gonna get the ball very often are people who are rolling to the basket or cutting uh you're not gonna be able to find three-point shooters on your team very easy and it's kind of just like that so anyway now in my opinion the 
most OP build at the point guard position in 2K18. Still the pure shark. Um, now there have been some patches to nerf shooting a little bit, but this is this is the case I wanted to make for the pure sharks when people talk about the shooting patches. How is it that if three point shooting gets patched, that it hurts a pure sharpshooter? If anything, let me explain it to you like this: if if they make three point shooting extremely hard in this game, the elite three point shooter right here is going to be the only build that can shoot threes. Let's say they make three pointers harder, it's gonna make it so athletic finishers cannot hit threes. So that glass cleaners cannot hit threes. And what are you gonna be? You're gonna be the only player that can hit threes. Anyway, that's kinda not really the case. Uh, they, they, shooting still is very doable, in my opinion, uh, with my playmaking shot creator. I only got 75 three pointer and no shooting badges. Um, I don't know what people are really crying about with the shooting nerf, but anyway godly mid-range godly three-pointer you have limitless range corner specialist deep range dead eye catch and shoot tire the score and still three silver badges three three bronze badges and honestly dude it's really op uh the layups are still good as well um the only thing you lack in this is obviously dunks and then speed but in this game where you know you, the animations you do results in speed in my opinion uh the ball handling can be good enough to still have 75 ball control and honestly like everybody knows the left right is op you just go around the screen left right left right left right until you get open and you shoot the ball it, it's pure sharps stretch bigs they're all op everything with shooting in this in this game is op because at the end of the day even if you have two bars on layups on dunks and maybe like 10 on layups you're still gonna be able to make open layups you're still gonna be able to make open dunks but at the end of the day a pure athletic finisher, he, he can't make open threes half the time. So, I don't know. I mean, it makes you a scoring threat from everywhere with this build. Whereas whereas with an inside archetype, you're very dominant in the paint, but you can't, you're can't you not reliable from the three-point line or even mid-range sometimes. So anyway, that's all for the video on this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, I did a center one as well. I might be doing the wing. I'm not positive. But uh, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm be doing this. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this monthly, maybe maybe every two months, just to see how the game progresses. And I want to watch this back at the end of this series and be like, "Wow, this is how the game worked out," in my opinion. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. It's not it's not a factual statement. But uh, but yeah, man, I just want to see how this goes and how how I feel the game progresses through patches and months and stuff like that. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out some other videos I've done. Like I said, check the center one out. And other than that, hope you guys enjoyed and take it easy, man. Peace.